sometimes would be right in the beginning. And I would feel weird about it at the same time, holding the intensity and at the same time feeling weird. This is actually the thing that most guys are afraid of. And maybe you're afraid of this too. When you're in front of the woman, holding the intensity of, I'm sexually interested in you and also feeling weird about it because you don't know how she's gonna respond. Your goal with women shouldn't be to become a sexual man. It should be, I want to be able to show the woman that I am sexually attracted to her when I feel it. That's what we're gonna talk about today. The stress that men go through, feeling like I have to be a sexual man, I have to go up and have the sexual eyes, the sexual way of being. And also we're gonna talk about my journey through this and how I learned what it means to really be sexual with women and why the most valuable thing is simply the ability to show that you are sexually interested when you feel it. That is the most attractive thing to a woman about sexuality from a man. What most men are stressing out about is how do I become someone that's just sexual? I want to be sexual with women. I want to be the man who can show his sexuality. When a woman is in front of me, I want to be able to have the eyes to let her know that I'm interested in fucking her, that I don't want to be a friend. How do I become that guy? They miss all of what it means to be an attractive man straight to how do I be the sexual man? And hear me when I say this. She is not drawn to the fact that you are sexual. Women are not drawn to the fact that a man can be sexual. They're not drawn to that. When she's walking around all day, do you not think that she has sexual energy coming toward her? Do you not think that? The girls that you look at and go, <clears throat> I want her in my life, or I want to talk to women like that, or have sex with women like that, do you not think that there's other men out there who are giving their sexual energy to her, or unconsciously just doing it, like, fuck, you look so fucking great, I would fuck you. You don't think that she's getting that? If she was just drawn to a man being sexual, she would then, every single guy who's doing that, give them a chance. She would see a man looking at her and be like, oh, that guy can look at me. She would do that. But this is unrealistic because even notice when you're walking around down the street and you look at a beautiful girl, does she ever look you back in the eyes and hold it for a long period of time? And I'm guessing your answer will be no. And if it's not no, that means that you haven't looked beautiful women in the eyes. But if your answer is no, that means that you have the experience and the knowing and the awareness to go Beautiful women seem to not look men in the eyes a lot. They're not walking down the street just glaring and, 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 and holding eye contact. They're not doing that. Because they know that men are continuously doing that. And all they want to do is fuck them. She wants those eyes. She does. It's not like she doesn't want that. But sexuality in itself, a man wanting her and just be like, oh, fuck, I'll fuck you. That is not what she's drawn to. Because guys are just so stressed out. They're like, man, how do I be that man who can do that? Like, I don't want to be creepy, but I also want to be the man who's like that. I want to be the man who can show sexuality in the correct way. That's really what he's saying. He's like, how do I show my sexuality in the correct way? And the correct way is what I said to you in the beginning of this video and what I'll be talking about later, but relieve yourself of the stress of, I have to be the sexual man. This is something I feel that many guys try to press onto you, that you must be a man who's just always 
looking in a way and acting in a way where he's the sexual prospect. And this is why guys try to imitate other guys. They go, okay, girls are having sex with him. I guess I'll walk like him. This guy is like this, and he's looking women in the eyes like this. I guess I'll do that. And they're noticing that it's not working. Or a guy doesn't even talk to a girl. He, have it, he hasn't even attempted to go do it. And he's already thinking about, I don't want to get friend zoned. He's already thinking about, even, before, even if he's never done it, maybe it's you, you're already thinking about, how do I show my sexuality to this woman? How do I be a sexual man in her eyes? How do I, she perceive me as a sexual prospect? How do I make this possible? And I tell you, relieve yourself of the stress of this is the correct way. Because people imitate to feel like something is the correct way. Notice that when you're watching my, I don't know if this is your first video watching me, but notice when you're watching me talking to girls on the street. Am I being sexual? Notice this. Because when you look at me, you may go, I'm going to imitate what Tony is doing. Because, I mean, girls are having sex with him, but so I'm going to imitate what Tony is doing. Notice that I'm not being sexual, though. Notice that. So if you imitate me, you're actually not imitating the sexuality. You're imitating me. You're trying to be what I'm doing. You're trying to take on what I do because you're trying to like, okay, he, he stands like this and he holds silence for a long time. And then you go do that and you notice that, fuck, this is strange to the girl. Because the way that sexuality comes through you will be different in the way that it comes to me. Yes, it may look like the same thing as far as like silence and me holding intensity with the woman. Yes, it may look like the same coming through you. But the way that it will be expressed to you will be very different. This is why I tell guys, like, trying to focus on being a sexual man, you're going to start to do things that are out of context. You're going to try to say things that are out of context. You're going to try to behave in ways that are out of context. You're going to try to imitate because you feel like this is the way to do it. But there is no need for this. There's no need for all of this nonsense around your own sexuality. What really needs to happen is an understanding that you want to show the fact that you are sexually interested. This is what it really is. And this was my journey in this. My journey was, I want to be able to show that I'm sexually interested. That's what I want to do. But I remember being on dates. I definitely remember this. I remember being on dates and, or even approaching women and going, I don't want to get friend zoned. I don't want the girl to call me nice. I want her to see me as a sexual prospect. And there were guys at the time that I was following and I would try to do the thing they were doing because I was trying to see, okay, how do I show my sexuality in a way where women on the street won't feel weird about this? Because that was my thing. I don't want women to feel weird about it. I don't want them to be creeped out or feel like I'm a sleazy for showing my sexuality or showing the fact that I'm sexually interested in her. I don't want her to feel that. So if these guys are getting results, maybe they're doing it the right way. I'll do it like them. And then I tried to imitate this guy. And I would go, fuck, man. Okay, if he's doing it like that, then I'm going to go up to the girl and I'm going to also look at her like this. And I noticed that it felt unnatural. Yeah, maybe sometimes the girls did, you know, what are you looking at or something like that. But it felt unnatural to me. Then I tried to speak in ways that I heard people speaking. I tried to do that. And that also 
felt unnatural. And I was like, why is all this feeling like it's working, but at the same time, it feels unnatural to me. And with time after time, still getting no results, I just went, I must do this in a different way. I must. I can't continue to go out here, imitate, try this, try this, and do all these different things and still not come up with the results. I must do something different. I was so frustrated. I was feeling like, how do I do this? Being a sexual man is not really this hard. I know it's not. It's in me. It wants to be expressed, but it feels like it's so difficult. Then that brought me to this incredible insight of, you know what? It doesn't really matter if the girl receives the fact that I'm sexually interested in her or not. That doesn't really matter. What matters is the fact that I show her that I am. That's what matters. Because I was looking at it from a distance like, I know that I can do this. I know that I've had girls feel this way about me. I've had the small results and from that, girls were just like, I know he's interested in me more than just a friend. I know this. So I went, I'm gonna be willing to lose women. I'm gonna go out there and at the time that I feel that I am attracted to her, I'm gonna be willing to lose her. I don't care if that's in the beginning of the interaction, I don't care if that's on the date, at the beginning, in the middle, doesn't matter. Wherever I feel it throughout the interaction with her, from meet to bedroom, I will show her. I don't have to wait till I get to the bedroom. I don't have to try to force it in the beginning so she doesn't want to friend zone me. I'm just going to show it when I feel it. And I'm willing to lose women from doing this. That took me into going out in the streets and then starting to speak to women, but in a different way. From the position of, I know that she can see me as a sexual prospect, when I show her that I'm sexually interested in her. Before that, yes, the way I move, the way I look at her, yes, all these things the woman registered, like, okay, I can feel what type of man he is. And I knew that I was still learning and coming into a man who could more express himself through his body and his eyes, which is most important. But at the time, I just didn't have that level of intensity of uh, being. I just didn't have it. So going out there like this, I was speaking to women and, and in the conversation, I would feel in the moment like I really am, some is really attractive by her. Then I would say, just the way, I don't know, it's just your lips. And I just started doing the things I really felt to be true for me. And then I would do things like the girl would be talking and I would just hold it and I'm just like, I just really am interested in her in this moment. And I just feel it and I hold it with her. And sometimes it would be right in the beginning. And I would feel weird about it at the same time. Holding the intensity and at the same time feeling weird. This is actually the thing that most guys are afraid of. And maybe you're afraid of this too. When you're in front of the woman, holding the intensity of, I'm sexually interested in you and also feeling weird about it because you don't know how she's going to respond. I held these things very strongly together because I knew this one was the one I wanted, but this was also present. I didn't try to get away from it. It's the truth. It's also present there with you. You are afraid or you are feeling weird about fuck. I may be called a creep or I may be looked at as strange and some girls did feel that. But I was willing to lose them. I went, I'm willing to lose them and I'm willing to also be empathetic to the point that they're not ready. That was also the thing that came with it as well. Now, one of my videos I have from some time ago is called, you know, empathy. You know, empathy will get you laid. And I had another one called being able to go for it, but at the same time having the empathy to step back. I had another video on that as well. I'll put that one I'll put one of those videos down in the description box so you can be able to find out what this means to show it but at the same time have the empathy. But this is what started to happen for me. And it can start happening for you. Women aren't drawn to the fact that you're sexual. They're drawn to the fact that you are willing to. You have the courage to show the fact that you are sexually interested. Because that gives her the chance to go, he has the courage to do it. 
Now she has the courage to do it. Because some women are actually sexually interested in the man before he even shows it. And many of the time, she's not going to just start showing it to you. That's very rare. And if she does, great. You've found a woman like that. But it's very rare that she's going to ignite it and give herself the permission to show you without you doing it first. It's very, very rare. Because remember, the feminine thrives on the masculine direction. For her to show that, that's her now leading the way. She wants to invite you into the space, but you must be willing to show it. And once you show it, it can ignite hers. That's the valuable insight that I want to give you today. Not go out there and learn how to do the sexual thing and act in a sexual way. No, forget about all of that. That, give, that will put stress on you. But what I want you to do is to start to look at what are the times where you block what you want to show. That's the most pivotal thing to look at. When do I block? Not when can I show and do I show it now? It's no. When do I block it? Because you're already a sexual being. The only thing to look at now is when do you shut it down? When do you go, you hide it? When do you do that? You, you, you feel it, but then right before you feel it, you go, all right, it's there. I'm going to block it. And then the, she'll never know that you do because the transmission isn't clear. She wants to know that you are sexually interested in her. She doesn't care about the fact that you are a sexual man. She doesn't care about that. She's getting that all day. She wants to know that you have the ability, the courage to move into that when you feel it. In the same way where you go up and you say hello. And then as you're talking to her, you go, wow, you just look like this. And she goes, thank you. Because you have the courage to give your appreciation out and tell her how she feels to you. That gives her more energy. And then as she's going along talking to her, you feel very, very curious about her. And then at some point, maybe you feel like, fuck, this woman, she is igniting me. And you show her that I'm sexually interested in you. And maybe the way I can express to you is your eyes. Or maybe you feel like oh, you just give her a little smile. Whatever way it expresses to you naturally, this is now the showing. And it may feel weird. You're like, this feels a little bit weird for me to... Show her like this. I'm like, yes, it does. But that's the way it expresses itself through you. Why do you block that? Because you feel like this is like, what, sleazy? It's only sleazy when it's unfiltered. But otherwise, it's in the control setting. You are in front of the girl. She knows that she has impact on men. She knows that, she, that that's a possibility. She also knows that she's sexual. That's what she knows. And something as well, she wants to be wanted by you. This is what it clearly needs to come across is that you want her because remember, she wants to be wanted by you. It's not like she's in front of you like, I hope you don't do the sexual thing that all the men are doing all day. No, she's like, finally a man who's interested in me. And when you show her, she's like, I know he's really interested in me in another way as well. And maybe she may go, what are you looking at? Or... She may do something to react to it, but at least you showed it. Or sometimes she may even not give it back to her. She may look away. Let her do that. That's just telling you that it's becoming too intense and you need to take the heat off. She wants that moment, not leering, sleazy, things like this. No, that's what she's getting all the time. She wants the man who's going to come up and be like, here, I'm here with you. I'm interested in you. And I'm interested in you sexually when you feel that, showing that when you feel that. Of course, your intention could be I'm attracted to you and I want to find out am I also sexually attracted to you and into you. Yes, that's fine. But showing her that you want her, that you are willing to have sex with her right now because you want her is what she's interested in. And that's what makes a man be able to have sex with a girl very quickly, that he was willing to show her. When he felt it, he didn't really, he didn't walk up to her on the street with sex eyes. He probably walked up to her feeling like this and then it transitioned into him feeling like he was sexually interested and her also feeling like, okay, this is a guy who's giving it to me and her giving it back. And then them making the transition into a bathroom or some secluded location. That's the new focus for you. 
And when you focus on this, things will unfold for you in a different way. I thank you for tuning in today and being able to hear about all these wonderful things in relation to your sexuality. In case you don't know, I'm coming to Berlin, April 7th, and I have a seminar. If you feel like you want to learn more about yourself in relation to women or just more about yourself, this is for you. There are still some spots left. There are. Only 20 guys can sign up. There's still some spots left, and I want you to be able to have the chance to change. Because not only do I answer your question, I give you the chance to know what is the bodily practices to do. What is the way to really get around this? What is the way to really get through this? If you have also some interest in one-on-one coaching and what I'll be doing later on in this year or Skype coaching, you can contact me at Tony Solo at TheEssenceOfMan.com. And this is going to give you the chance to be able to come in now where I haven't put up my website yet. Because after I put it up, there won't be any chances for one-on-one in the future. Rarely any chances. This is now the time for it. I have a Meet to Bedroom series as well. Free for you. If you feel like, you know, I'm not ready for coaching or ready to come see you, that's fine. Free for you. Go beneath the seminar link in the description box, and there will be a link on my free seduction course. What do you do before the approach on the approach to the bedroom? Very quick and effective program, totally free. Put in your email and you'll have it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so you can follow me. When you subscribe, click the little bell so every single time a video comes out, you'll get the notification. Share this with anybody who you feel needs to know this. Maybe it's a friend of yours, a guy close to you, whoever. Share this with someone. If you feel like there's someone you need to share with. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you on Monday.